Hey folks, Danny Panzella here, and I just want to take a minute to tell you about a new project that I'm working on, and it is a film tentatively titled, Can Pot Cure Cancer? I'm not a big marijuana user. Uh, I am a libertarian, so I do believe in legalization. Uh, I don't believe that the government has the right to tell you what you can put in your body. Uh, but I'm not really, I've never really been an advocate for marijuana. Until about a year ago, I was doing some research, and I ran across just a doctor who was doing research on the nutritional benefits of eating cannabis raw. So I was intrigued by it, so I started to look in, in more into the research. I think like most people at the time, when I thought of medical marijuana, I was like, all right, you know, people who are going through cancer, fighting cancer, there's a lot of pain involved many times, uh, and they smoke to ease the pain, and it also has the side effect of increasing your appetite, so it helps people uh, who are going through chemo, who don't really feel like eating. So sure, I, I could support that. And the polls are saying that about 60 to 70 percent of people support legalization for medical purposes. Uh, but I don't think 60 to 70 percent of people are voting that way. I don't think it's an important issue that they're voting on. I don't think that they're donating money to lobby groups that are helping to legalize. Uh, so I don't think that it's really a central issue. And when I came across this research and started to see that cannabis, raw cannabis, can really benefit everybody. So many people who have different conditions, cancer being one of them, lupus, uh, a lot of autoimmune diseases are also, people are seeing tremendous benefit from juicing raw cannabis. And just to go into the science, very quickly, eating it raw, you don't get high. There's no psychoactive effect whatsoever when you're eating it raw. And just to go into the science, very quickly, basically, we have a, an endocannabinoid system in our bodies. And cannabis is one of the only plants that has these cannabinoid uh, molecules, which interact with our cannabinoid receptors that are naturally built into our brain. Um, interestingly, our the core of our brain that controls your breathing and all the motor functions has no cannabinoid receptors, and that's the reason why you can't actually overdose on pot, unlike with other narcotic painkillers where there are receptors on the brain stem so that control motor function. You can actually shut those down, your body stops breathing, uh, and you can die of an overdose. I want to get this message out because I think that if people understood that as funny as it seems, everybody should have a cannabis salad on their dinner table every night and that will keep the doctor away. Forget about the apples. I think we could push over the tipping point and get full legalization in all 50 states. And then people could grow medicine in their own backyard. The cost of health care would go way down um, and people could just live happier, healthier lives. So please support me uh, by donating to help me get this message out. I'm only asking for $1,500 right now to I, so I can travel to Colorado and to Austin, Texas to do the initial interviews for the film. And uh, that'll help me cover travel expenses and uh, some of the crew uh, that I need to get down there. So thank you so much. I hope that you'll support my project, Can Pot Cure Cancer.